Uh, so my name is Andrew Winter. Uh, I'm the Business Development Manager at uh, Clear Construction Queensland, uh, as well as looking after a small building design firm who's a sister company. But Clear Construction Queensland is our main business. Uh, we are a builder, a builder of uh, small to medium sized developments and upmarket custom homes. Uh, we reach uh, right across uh, the Brisbane City Council uh, and into some of the other local areas like Morton, um, Logan, Ipswich, um, but essentially we're a Brisbane-centric building company. Well, we were referred to the Influencer Project through Evolve Digital uh, from someone who was already using uh, the services. Um, the challenges that we were having at that time was getting, uh, the, getting in front of the right people uh, to build our network. Um, our business is a face-to-face -face business. People don't buy from us online, uh, but, they, but they want to meet with us. They need to, to meet and greet and find out who we are. So we had to find a core group of key people that we had in mind, and that's how it started. I mean, the goal for us, we could have just picked up the phone and started calling architectural firms and building design firms and town planners and I mean we, we know how our key network is but the idea of using LinkedIn as a methodology um, it was a much warmer process of connecting so and and that's borne out by the process when when we do then pick up the phone and we've already made the connection through LinkedIn it's a much easier conversation so the the, the goal for us was always make an appointment not sell a product. So we were able to um, connect with, uh, not, we weren't connecting with companies, we were connecting with the right people within the companies that we wanted to talk to. Well, the results have been um, quite evident in terms of, um, so the fact that we went from, not so much a standing start, we did have some pipeline, uh, but we were seeking, we have a full-time estimator who we need to, whose pipeline needs to be full on an estimator, he's the guy responsible for pricing projects and delivering uh, price expectations to clients. Um, so we've, we've got him at a stage now where he's four to six weeks of work in advance all the time. Now we couldn't have done that without this project, um, not as quickly as we have, uh, because when we started, uh, we started with no clients, we were able to find some but we needed to have a constant pipeline, yeah. and that pipeline comes through the networks. So, um, so we've we've probably grown from having one or two good relationships with good sources of referral to at least fifteen to twenty right. in a very short space of time. It, it's a good market to, for what LinkedIn is and what it does, because our um, we're not a cookie cutter type service provider. We're a customised solution provider, and so the people that want that uh, need to, uh, I guess, they're more professional. So it's, it's professionals connecting with professionals, and so that was. I mean, I'm not even on LinkedIn, but I was aware of what LinkedIn is, and thought, well, that has to be a better targeted audience than say Facebook or some other form of social media. We tried Google AdWords, and it was an abject failure by comparison. So. I would say that at the, of, of the $100 million worth of pipeline opportunity we have, at least half of that's come through this project. So, so that, that's unconverted at this stage. We've, we've, still got to, we've still got to close those deals, but, the, but our, our work comes in big, chunky projects, one, two, three, five million dollar type projects. And so, um, yeah, so we have to fill the pipeline with all those projects and then we have to walk through a, uh, a tender type process and in a contract process. So we, we still get to convert, but our pipeline is very full. Yeah. And, and, full. and more coming. I mean, another, yeah. another tender arrived this morning, yeah. had another meeting with an architect who's gonna send another tender next week and so on and this so forth. From the, yes. From what's coming yes. This, this, is, this is relationships that we've developed since starting the project. First of all, I'd say know who your market is. So understand who it is you want to talk to, why do you want to talk to them, 
and what, you know, what is it you want to say to them? To do that bit first, I think we had some success because we, we were very clear on what our niche was. So that allowed us to be very clear to you guys to define how to take us down this pathway. And so, and I think that, that came about because we spent money on Google AdWords and that didn't work and we'd done other things that had failed. So we were very clear on, on how to uh, get where we wanted to go. So that would be my advice. Um, now, whether they can talk to you about that first and define that, that's, you know, that would be my advice. But someone has to sit down and work out exactly who it is they want to talk to. It certainly opened my eyes to what LinkedIn is and what it can do. And so I, I'm, I'm a converted believer. I, like I said, I've, and like I said, after using Google Words and Facebook and a whole bunch of other things that didn't work, this is probably in the 18 months since we've, two years since we started, 18 months since we've started looking into different advertising methodologies and spending money, this is the only thing that actually has delivered results. Well, we've only turned, we've only had this thing going for about six months. So out of so the first 18 months um, of our business, we were designing a business um, up to our elbows and blood and guts and mud because that's all we could focus on. Um, and we couldn't have done we couldn't have started this process without having some uh, some reputation behind us. We had we had to be able to. Um, we had to have had our well, we had to have our proof of concept in place because ev with every builder they come to you and go, well, "What have you built?" Um, and so we we'll built this and that. Oh, great! Okay, so then that immediately um, smooths the, the pathway then to the next stage. Within six months, we'd achieved essentially. Expect How long I expected probably twelve months to eighteen months, but without the program, probably two years. So, so, so if we were just going door to door, picking up the phone to, and trying to you know, move through this, this whole process in a, almost a manual sense, it would have taken us two years. Yeah, yeah we have, um, and because we haven't even started mining the, the actual database yet. So we're just coping now with the ones that have just come off that top. We've gone, oh, that looks interesting. These guys look like they know what they're doing. We'll give them a call. We haven't actually got to the next level where people said, oh, they look interesting, but I'm not going to contact them yet. So, you know, so we haven't even mined. Yeah. And, and we, I'm quite scientific in how I measure it. So I say, Ben, we need to, um, if we know that we can only do this many tenders per year, and if we do this many tenders, and with this percentage of, of projects, that that will equate to this much revenue or volume, etc. then it's, you can only, um, you can sometimes generate one relationship that will bring you one new project a month. Now that might be 15% of your whole capacity in terms of the capacity to turn that into a tender. Um, so we, we're quite good at scientifically measuring exactly how many tenders we can put through the system. So we're at a point now where we can say no to some tenders. We can say no to some clients that we might not want to work with, and we can say no to some projects because we've got enough tender flow that would should equate into deal flow that, that it's actually measurable. Can I, can I use two words? Fast tracked. So you've essentially um, built our network a lot quicker than we could ever have done it on the ground.